Perfect example. I went today to uh, go take a look at my Cadillac. And it's the first time that I've met my this my mechanic because I had it flat bedded out to him. So um, his name's Scott, and we've talked on the phone. Same age. I think he's maybe a year older than me, and so we got. I, I, he's like deliverance in the middle of nowhere but he's he lives in like a really nice area he's got like a 5,000 square foot big brick house I mean he's got a nice crib and everything but like where his shop is 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 kind of it's kind of cool man it's you know it's like very cracker you know Quonset hut kind of deal but I mean he's you know he's done everybody's 60s and 70 cars that I know and they're like they're I mean his whole thing is he does uh the the antique shows he shows you know yeah. rods and you know different 50s and 60s and 70s a couple 80s he's got a real nice 85 mustang right now there's a lot of those down by you i feel like I yeah to those all the time yeah and and they're like, the, like he he was telling me that like he's gotten to the point now where he wants to do the ones that are indoors like he doesn't know if he's going to do the, the the turkey run this year down in uh in daytona beach because he's just he's tired of having the cars outside and if it rains it's a fucking nightmare yeah, and everything true. else I can imagine. so so i walk into his, his place today and i have to follow him because i can't i can't find this place so i go to his house and then he says he gets in his f-150 and he takes off and i follow behind him he looks like waltz I mean, he looks like Tim Walls. You went there because he drives a Ford. Like, can we just admit this? The, the, the oh, he's a Mustang guy on top of that. Yeah, the connection to Detroit continues. Yeah. Go ahead. So, no, yeah, but there was a BMW that his wife was driving. Okay. So, same as our fucking crib. Man of the okay. people, but living well. Yeah, yeah, but my, 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 you know, my wife's driving the German auto. So you keep um, that one tucked in the front of the garage in case anyone passes the driveway. They well, see, right, the, they see but, the Bronco and. The, yeah, but the Broncos moved now, and now the Eldorado is, oh, right. next, well, is next to this. So now they they got they got to realize that you know I'm probably just a pimp and diplomat. But uh, so I, I walk in, and on the uh, uh, like on the side of this uh, Quonset hut, probably four by three is a Trump twenty twenty four flag. And then a, a, next to it, a, a fuck Biden flag. Classy. And, um, but it's like, I don't give a fuck. Like, people have to realize, like, I, I've already, I already know him. Like, we've talked on the phone, so I've, I've already made my decision on how, whether I like this person or not. So whatever he believes, you know, it, it, as far as politically, has no effect whatsoever on how I judge them as a human being. I like to fucking push people's buttons, mm. but somebody that's making sure that my car's not going to fucking break down isn't somebody's buttons I feel like pushing. Yeah, him and your cardiologist are safe. Right? Exactly. And we had that. We uh, He's the only... Uh, guy that i've met in town he has flood insurance and he knows his fucking blood work better than i do i mean he is scott's on it Finish oh i got there. it I, yeah so i got it I, I, Tamara was sending me pictures and i wanted because you know everybody always gives me such grief about uh what I represent in life. So, hold on here. The former world champion. What? Well, what is the grief that you're representing? That's. Uh, I. It's probably just my my bitterness. Um, you're bitter. Oh God! I got. I'm gonna send this to Steve. Yeah. So Steve can. Uh, that you are, Steve. Okay. So, Steve, I'm going to send a picture to you, and it'll probably take a say. It looks like it's feeding you. Did you get a picture from me, Steve? You just answer, yeah. We hit the Jeopardy music here or something. 
You sing Larry. Can you say it's been a while uh, since you yet. sang Harry Chapin? Can you do? <laughs> Nothing it was yet. raining hard in Frisco. I needed one more fare to make my night. Lady up ahead seemed to flag me down. She got in at the light. Oh, where you going to, my lady blue? It's a shame you ruined your gown in the rain. She just looked out the window. Said 15 Parkside Lane. It took a while till I looked in the mirror and she glanced at the license for my name. A smile seemed to come to her slowly. It was a sad smile just the same. And she said, how are you, Harry? I said, how are you, Sue? Through the too many miles and the too many smiles, I still remember you. There we go. So is this is this live now? Do we have this picture? This is up. Of, of, of young Nash? Yes. So, okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'm such a Mussolini in my own home that when my son went out to vote for his first time when he turned 18 years old, he voted for Donald Trump. And then my wife took him to New York City uh, and he wanted to salute President Trump in front of his tower. So this is a picture of T uh, saluting uh, Donald Trump. And this is like, so people don't think that I'm, you know, I'm you not, allow freedom in your home to, uh, to unbelievably express oneself. Unbelievably so, yes. yes, unbelievably so. Like, that's the kind of the way I was brought up. That's the way I brought my son up. It's just like, we don't. So now I know. So today I go and I, I have a, a, an interaction with a QAnon person. And it's, this is a, a couple of time a week type thing. She's a female. She's a sweetheart. She's just, I mean, it, it's everybody. How do you know she, does she wear a shirt? Like, how, like, how do you identify? Is there an odor? Like, how do you no. know when someone's a QAnon? It's just when the ball goes behind home plate on a foul and they call it fair, pretty much that's, you know, a, a pretty good indicator. They're just so out of it. It's, a, it's amazing. But she was telling me, you know, because she saw me kind of limping around, and she was telling me, you know, or she asked me first, you know, she asked me, she says, what's going on? I said, I got a couple of fucked up discs. I said, one's, one's like a five millimeter fucking spill. Like it's torn and I got a five millimeter spill that's pressing on a nerve. And I said, but I'm going to get stem cells. And she makes this face. And I know immediately that she equates stem cells to embryos and drinking blood and pizza gate. The pizzeria. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can just, and I looked at her, I said, I said, oh, I said, you, you don't approve of stem cells. She says, no. I said, how much do you know about it? She says, enough. I said, did you know that the only viable stem cell comes from a woman that goes term, that has the child through a C-section? I said, did you know that's the only viable stem cell that there is? And that the only stem cell in the world that, I mean, that's because the umbilical cord at that point, when that child is born, it stops. And all those stem cells that are sitting in that tube waiting to make teeth, hair, it's done. Right. So now you just, yeah, now, yeah, 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 there's everybody else. It's summer. There's no assignments. They get the, the rest of those stem cells at summer school. So, and I looked at her. I said, and you know that, right? And now I can tell it's like, you mean there's more than vanilla ice cream? Like, I can already tell. It's just 